look, we're past the time when we can look in the rearview mirror. We just don't have the luxury of that. The question is, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day? Remember, the Supreme Court is not the ones that will get the final word on Roe versus Wade. It is Congress that gets the final word. We have the capacity to keep Roe versus Wade as the law of the land. And if we act, then we can do that. So to me, this is all about the focus on what we're going to do in Congress and how the president is going to help us do that, how people all across this country are going to help us do that. We can put that vote on the floor now. We can get everybody on record on where they stand on Roe versus Wade, where they stand on a woman's right to an abortion after she's been raped, where they stand on the right to an abortion for a 14-year-old who's been the victim of abuse, where they stand on the right to an abortion for some woman who can't support the children she has and is desperately trying to keep her family together. Let's get them on the record voting on that. And if we don't have enough votes to pass it now, we get everybody on the record, and then we take that to the public in November. We've got less than 200 days until Election Day. Roe versus Wade, in that sense, is on the ballot.